Hi, everybody. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you so much. Good evening. My name is Greg Kane, and I'm one of the music teachers here at Canandaigua Academy, and I'm also the pre-K through 12 curriculum area lead teacher. Fancy name for department chair. Um, I really am truly humbled to be speaking tonight, uh, representing literally hundreds of amazing students who are about to perform on our un and our unbelievably passionate team of colleagues who have come together to make this night happen. I think it's safe to say whether you're sitting in the auditorium, and they can hear me right now, and hopefully see me, or if you're sitting in this space, you're inspired by the work that's gone into what we see and what we're anticipating as the night plays out. So the music you're about to hear was selected both by our music staff and our individual transition performers. I wanna thank these brave soloists and small groups. They practiced hard, they submitted video auditions, and they rightfully earned an independent place on this concert tonight. If you are familiar with our Holiday Prism concert, you know that this format is really a special Canandaigua tradition. And it's hard to believe that this is the 24th year, a little asterisk next to last year, there's a, this is the 24th year that students have assembled making music and putting it together in this way. So yeah, how about that? So, so back in December, Back in December as the school year kicked off and we all sort of realized that learning and performing would still have some restrictions in place, we sort of all took that, that collective breath, right? And uh, we, we knew in a moment that something had to happen tonight. I mean, we weren't sure at that moment what it was exactly going to look like, but for as many out of the box ideas that we presented and threw forward, there were just as many uh, adult colleagues around me and around my colleagues who were surrounding us, and they just said, kept saying, yeah, I, th I think we can do that. I think we can do this. I think we can, we can make something special happen for these students. So we have been in this gym space since Monday night, and for the people in the auditorium, that's sort of our normal home, so we can be there most, most whenever we want. But as I shared with students yesterday, sometimes I forget to enjoy the moment when we do something cool. And yesterday, I, I kind of tried to have that moment. I was surrounded, I was on the podium, and I was surrounded by 150 singers and instrumentalists, and we got to the very last note of the very last piece that you're gonna hear in just one hour, and I sat there and I held it just a little bit longer than necessary. And I, and I gave them all the look, and I cut them off, and all of a sudden, it just rang and rang and rang. And then spontaneously, this group of, of students just kind of erupted in applause for each other. And I gotta tell you, it was such, it was such a beautiful moment. And, and, it, and it reminded me in this moment why we're all here tonight, to play music and to be together. So thank you to the students for that, giving me that moment of joy, and I know they enjoyed it too. So I was thinking about the moment later on yesterday afternoon, and I texted a colleague and I said, man, I feel so fortunate and inspired that we are here and that we have so many people who have chipped in to make this possible. And the text message I received back said this, you know, we live and work in a pretty special place. And more than anything, this comment made me think of the people in our school community that make it so special for all of these kids and all the other kids who aren't here performing tonight. Moments as common as riding the school bus, or as complicated and unique as this concert this evening. These happen because we come together, we collaborate, and we make it happen for kids. So there's a lot of, yeah. There's a tremendous amount of moving pieces to tonight's performance, and as you can imagine, this was a Herculean task to get to this moment in time. <laughs> so before we start, I do want to thank a couple individuals who made tonight a reality for our students. So first and foremost, someone who is not in this space right now, but is sitting in like the mothership up in the back of the auditorium, my good friend and colleague Matt Rogers is the man who has connected the dots every step of the way since I brought this idea to him in late September. Thank you, Mr. Rogers. Supporting Matt every single step of the way, um, I just need to thank our District Director of Technology, Mr. Dan Bowman, who's sitting right up front here, community members Kurt Knobloch and Doug McLeod, who are over there working some of the gear, and our assistant theater staff um, employees, Jerry Smith and Angela Hurlbut. How about a hand for all those folks who are making this happen?
And then lastly, you can probably imagine the look on some of our seniors' faces when I said, we're going to have the PRISM concert, but you have to play in the gym. <laughs> and they were like, for real, man? And I was like, but it was so important for us to give these students an experience that felt like a concert venue. And I think it's safe to say that with the help of Applied Audio and our man Adam over there working lights, they definitely have delivered for our kids here this evening. So thank you to Applied Audio. Okay, we're getting all of our clapping out before the concert, and there'll be no more talking, I promise. But So during any normal PRISM concert, music is performed in a non-stop presentation that is designed to bounce from space to space within a single performance hall. The selections are purposefully juxtaposed to encourage us to soak in the dramatically different styles, the timbres, the intent of the piece, and the size of the ensemble. Each piece transitions seamlessly into the next one, and we save our applause until after the very last note of the very last song. So the big adjustment tonight is that we'll be seamlessly transitioning between not only this room, but also the auditorium, okay? Through some fiber optic and HDMI magic, we're gonna see what's going on over there, and if you're in the auditorium, you'll, well, I guess you're seeing me now <laughs> on this screen, and I, I think you'll just be blown away by, by how incredible the quality is. Okay couple nuts and bolts, and then we're gonna, we're gonna lift off, okay? Thank you for wearing your masks the entire time you're here tonight, and thank you for wearing them correctly. We, we all appreciate that while you're inside the school. In the event that the fire alarm should sound, <laughs> so audience members in the auditorium, okay? You're please asked to exit through the right and left, front and rear doors, the front ones are right over there underneath the video screen. Um, and then audience members in the gymnasium, you're asked to please exit through the back and students would exit out the back of the gym here, okay? And lastly, in the event of a crash landing, your seat cushions can be used as a flotation device. Now, the people in the auditorium maybe laughed harder at that joke because they have seat cushions. And then I realized you don't have seat cushions, so we're right across from the pool, so there's probably a life jacket over there. So good luck, folks. Okay. Um, listen, thank you so much for being here tonight, and thank you for supporting music education all across our school district. I'm so proud of the work that my colleagues do and literally the hundreds, if not thousands, of students involved in our program. So on behalf of my colleagues, happy holidays, and away we go.
children listen to hear sleigh bells in the snow. I'm dreaming of a white Christmas with every Christmas card I write. May your days, may your days, may your days be merry.
true love gave to me a partridge in a pear tree. On the second day of Christmas, my true love gave to me two turtle doves and a partridge in a pear tree. On the fourth day of Christmas, on the third day of Christmas, my true love gave to me five golden rings. Four calling three friends, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. On the ninth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me. Nine gave to me. Eight, 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 Four calling birds, three French and two turtle doves. The boar said in hand, bear I be decked with face and partridge in a pear tree. On the eleventh day of Christmas, my true love gave to me eleven pipers piping, ten loads of leaping, nine ladies dancing, eight maids in milking, seven swans a swimming, six geese a laying, five golden rings, four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and Rudolph the red nosed reindeer. Christmas, I have a little dreidel. I made it out of clay, and when it's dry and ready, oh, dreidel left to play. Oh, dreidel, dreidel, dreidel! Stop! And... What? Twelve days of Christmas, man. I think give me my dreidel. Man, just really. On the twelfth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me eight and thirteen. A partridge in a pear tree.
my friends are now becoming me again Now and again The things it means are now subsided The wicked storm has subsidized She sees the things she makes They try to take it all away The things she sees, the things she makes She doesn't want it going away
to you your wassail too, and God bless you and send you a happy new year, and God send you a happy new year. God rest you merry gentlemen, let nothing you dismay. daily beggars that beg from door to door, but we are neighbor children whom you have seen before. Love and joy come to you, and to you your wassail too, and God bless you and send you a happy new year, and God send you a happy new year. This was his God. Cheer and better shall we sing. La 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 la, la 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 la, la 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 la. Love and joy come to you, and to you your wassail too. And God bless you and send you a happy new year. And God send you a happy new year. And God send.
Your heart beats. 